Welcome back to the number one channel on Apple Music. If you aren't up with the loop, in the last video, I decided I was gonna start making shorter videos, but they'll come out more often. It's a good trade-off. I'm trying to grow the channel. Here's my stab at that. Now I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. So the way I've seen most parking brakes work online is it's a single pulley system attached to a piece of metal that splits two cables that go to the back of the car. But the way mine works is different. Here's a nice, well-drawn diagram right here. The way that it works is it's two pieces. There's one long piece that goes around the car, and then there's a short piece, connect it. Now this would be a pretty simple installation. There probably wouldn't be a video on it because it would be super easy if I kept my drum brakes, but I did not. I replaced it with an aftermarket disc brake conversion kit, which means that it's different. The kit came with its own parking brake, kind of short pieces that go onto the frame towards the back. There's a little piece that the parking brake mounts onto, you'll see it later. But I decided that I was just gonna go with the system that the car originally had, and I'll just make some modifications since I have all the parts and the cable's still pretty okay. Before I go all crazy and throw the cable into the car, uh, there are some springs on the cables, on the little pieces that go right to the wheel that I needed to cut off because they would bottom out if I put them on. The kit comes with the springs that you put on it. Um, I did lose one and I'll show you how I came up with a different spring later on. So starting off how I usually do, I look for the parts that go to the parking brake system. Now that everything is ready to go, I took the cable and on the passenger side, I attach it to the brake caliper and then I ran it up to the front and around and then back to the other side. Then I used the coupler piece to couple the larger cable to the small cable on the driver's side. On the other side of the car, I lost a spring that went to the... Really? Carly! I'm trying to record a video right now, it's not funny. Hey, what's up, bro? Bro, what are you doing? Oh, you know, just finishing up for you. Well, why did you turn off the light? I didn't. Can you get out from under there? I didn't say you could touch anything. Well, I just wanted to say, if you haven't already, hit that follow button, hit that like button, go comment, help. Man, that guy that came out of nowhere that I have no idea who he is, he was speaking straight facts. You should probably press the subscribe button. As I was saying, I used a bunch of springs I had lying around. I put the cable on the driver's side. Because this is an aftermarket uh, brake setup, it's uh, obviously not gonna be the same fit. And I did have a little bit of slack in my cable, about four inches of slack, but I did notice that the cable has a lot of thread for adjustment, about four inches. So what I did was I grabbed a couple of shims from the wheel wood brakes setup, and I put those in front of the keeper, and then I put the nuts on, and I was able to tighten up the thing properly. And when you press the brake down, it does activate the parking brake and it works pretty great. But now that I have uh, the parking brake system working, that's pretty much it. Well, that is it for this video. I don't think I have much more work to do under the car, which is exciting. Getting closer to having this thing finished. Not too close, but I'm getting there. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. All that engagement will help me do better on YouTube. And uh, don't come back. Bye.